So with the recent patch, they actually added some new things to the game, some new mechanics that a lot of people have been asking me to cover. So today we're going to be talking about flashbangs and also flashbang reduction. A few questions that people may have like how long the flashes last and some of the visors and glasses now actually reduce the time. So let's find out which ones they are and how that actually works. Before we get into the video here today, I do want to remind you guys, I do stream on Twitch. The link for that will be featured down in the description below if you want to watch me live or have any questions about any of the videos you've seen recently. So let's jump straight into a glasses comparison and you're going to see some things like the tea glasses with 10% reduction and some weirdly enough, some anti-fragmentation glasses, which also give you 10% each, which doesn't really make sense. At 15%, we've got Pyramex. We've also got Dundux, Gas Can and the M-Frame. Now, a lot of these different glasses do have some problems in game like glowing. So I would, we'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but none of these are really going to do much more than 15%. It does actually get better when you go one step up to the John Lennon or the round frame glasses here at 20% reduction. Now, the two glasses in the game by Raybench, the Raybench Aviators and also the other Raybench pair here, they're both going to be 25% reduction, which is actually pretty decent. Now it actually gets better with the crossbow tacticals, which are actually the best glasses in the game right now, with a whopping 30% reduction against flashbangs. Even better, you can actually buy these from Ragman level 2, and they are a decently cheap price. Which is really strange in my opinion, I actually thought the fragmentation glasses would be better, but let's ignore that for now. Alright, so we're going to jump into visors, and I just wanted to point out a general rule of thumb. Pretty much every glass visor in the game, whether it's a fast MT visor, Kiva visor, BNTI, Wendy, any of these are all 10% reduction, including the Zishas and so on and so forth. There are no real differences between all of them, including the Vulcan face shield, but it does get one better here when you jump up to the Cayman. You'll be noticing the Cayman actually has 15% reduction, although it is only armor class level 2, which is actually pretty terrible. It's the only one here that doesn't reduce your field of view with a higher percentage. Jumping straight into the Alton versus the Risty, there are some benefits for the wrist T face shield, some things like movement reduction, also armor points being slightly higher, and we we're going to do a video comparing the two. But there is also another difference. Now, the wrist T visor actually has a 5% better reduction here at 30, compared to the Alton's 25% reduction against flashbangs, which doesn't make a huge difference, but it is something that you need to consider. But the god here today in 1920 by 10p is going to be the mask of face shield coming in here at 35 percent reduction which is actually pretty incredible it sort of makes sense because you can't see anything anyway so how can you see a flashbang but that's besides the point this one is actually the best visor in the game right now for reducing flash before we get into some flashbang testing i did want to give you guys an epilepsy warning there are going to be some bright things on the screen here and you know if you are looking late at night and you've got your brightness up maybe turning it down before you blow out your eyeballs would be a nice move but we're going to be starting off here with a control run with a normal flashbang with no ears on now with this control run obviously i look directly into the zara flashbang this is basically a point blank flash and it's really not going to get much worse than this without any ear protection either. So this is literally as bad as it's going to get. We're going to notice roughly around the 25 to 30 mark. That's when the ringing starts to actually get a lot better. So I decided to speed it up from this point onwards. And you'll notice that I get most of my vision back here around the 1 minute 15 mark. And then basically all you're going to deal with is a little bit of light burn. Now if you do have a flashlight, it does get a lot better at this point. But I just wanted to point out that a full flashbang here in a best case scenario you won't really be able to see anything for the first 30 to 40 seconds, but you'll have some slight light burn here for about a minute and 33. And this is without any face shield or any eye protection. I also wanted to point out that when you do put on ear protection, whether that be razors, contacts or GSSHs or anything in between, it does actually get rid of the ringing. You'll notice here when I look directly into the next flashbang, you're going to hear the pop, but you're not going to hear any ringing after that which is actually really awesome. I'm not sure I 100% agree with this because in real life, when you get flashed, there would be a lot of static noises from the headset trying to catch up and also some distortion. But honestly, I think it's pretty nice to have this option in the game. That way you don't have to link, listen to that disgusting ringing noise. Moving away from that, I thought we'd just jump straight into the best glasses here. We did testing on all of them to make sure the times were correct. But when you look at something like the crossbow with the 30% reduction, it is actually quite insane. 
Now you have to remember that that full length flashbang when I was looking directly into it actually lasted a full minute and 33 seconds. That's actually pretty awesome here because what happens when you're wearing the crossbows is the time in which you can't see anything here, that full flash effect actually reduces itself 30% faster. So you can see I'm already starting to see my gun here at around the 20 second mark and you're going to notice that pretty much everything becomes actually usable in a firefight. Around 20 seconds you can see quite well. Now obviously the full flash and the light burn is still going to take some decent amount of time. But that 30% reduction can actually be the difference between life or death. Now obviously if you're not staring directly into a flashbang, it'll be even better. But that 30% is something to consider. Another problem with something like these glasses however guys, is when you're wearing them at night raids, Sometimes they can glow in certain scenarios. So that is a downside of wearing these glasses at the same time. All right, so you're going to notice around almost a full minute in here, it's pretty much completely gone. And around the minute and three second mark, we've got nothing. Now let's put on the wrist T plus the crossbows to see if it actually stacks. This time we're around about a 60% reduction with the crossbows and the wrist T visor together just to check to see if the effect stacks. And the truth is, guys, it does indeed stack. The only problem is, once again, when you're near a flashbang, because we're no longer wearing ear protection, you will get ringing when wearing the wristy or the masker. But you're going to notice around the 15 second mark, I can already see my gun, and we're actually going to be able to go and fight someone a lot quicker here. This is actually incredibly crazy, because if you think about it, if someone tried to KS shotgun you, even at a medium range, the time it would take for the flash to go away is actually incredibly fast. And we'll talk about the KS shotgun a little bit here in a second, but I just wanted to show you how fast it would be while wearing the wrist tee plus the crossbows, coming in at 45 seconds for a full recovery of sight. Now, if you look at the masker plus the crossbows here at 65%, I decided to speed this one up to save your eyes, obviously, guys, but you are also going to be gaining some benefits here. Now, obviously, the masker has terrible field of view, but the reduction in time here is also incredibly good but it's probably not worth the penalties of the visibility and something like an Alton or a Wrist is probably just better anyway. We're going to see 40 seconds for a full recovery while wearing the mask up plus the crossbows. We also did some testing with the C if the visor was up and it would work. However, it doesn't. And we also tried putting the visor down mid flashbang. However, that didn't actually change the effect. It only processes the moment the flash goes off. So if your visor's not down at the time, you can't pull your visor down and somehow cheese it. Alright, so let's jump into the next raid, looking at a KS-23 to see if it's any different. We're going to be doing a control run here with the KS-23 with star rounds. This is directly into the barrel, and I decided to speed it up to save your time. Now, once again, the KS-23 obviously got some nerfs in distance, but when you're point blank, once again, you're going to be noticing that flashlight that I talked about earlier. You can definitely see the flashlight allows you to outline the player and just make them out a little bit easier, which definitely helps in some scenarios. However, the time for a full recovery from a KS shot is exactly the same as a Zara flashbang. What's interesting about the KS-23 is the drop-off range, however. This is about 20 meters, and you're going to notice my friend actually flashed himself. And when he's about 15 meters, it doesn't get any better. You can notice that the reduction in the flash is actually incredible. And it really doesn't seem to do much of anything until he's about around the 15 meter or under mark. When you're about this point, regardless of whether you're outside or in a tunnel, it really doesn't make any difference. Now this next shot's about the 10 meter mark away from me and you're going to be noticing that's when the flash actually starts to do something when I'm looking directly at it. But even so, the recovery time with both the wristy and the crossbows is incredibly good. If we look at something like just under here, probably about 8 meters or so, we are going to be noticing that even with the flashlight, I can actually see the guy quite well. So the KS-23 has actually been quite heavily nerfed recently. What's even more interesting is the KS-23 actually doesn't give you the ringing effect until you're under 5 meters. So you pretty much have to be directly on someone to give them the ringing effect, regardless of whether they have an Alton on or a mask or anything in between, even glasses. It still has to be at this point to give them the ringing effect when looking directly at the barrel. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed anything about this video or learned something about flashbangs here today or any of the new glasses, feel free to subscribe. We are going to be doing some more ammo breakdowns soon, guys. I've just been farming money so I can make those videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.